Well, we've talked before about the probability that I choose something at random out of a bag. Well, here I've got a bag and uh, it has three rocket ships in it. And how they got those rocket ships in there, I'll never know. But it also has five hats in it. And I hope the hats don't get crushed by the rocket ships. But that's not really our problem. So let's go back to what we've talked about before and then I will show you something new. So let's call event A. We'll call event A that you choose a rocket with an odd number. Rocket with an odd number on it. So that would be these two rockets. And event B we'll call choosing a hat. with an odd number. So that would be one of these three. All right, well, what's the probability of event A? We've done this before. It's the number of outcomes that you want divided by the total number of outcomes assuming they are all equally likely. And there are two outcomes that you want in event A. And there are eight total choices, eight things you could take out of the bag. So probability of A is two out of eight. Similarly, probability of B, there are three things that you want. And there are eight total choices. So the probability of B is three out of eight. All right, all of that is review. But now let's ask this question. What is the probability of A or B? What is that going to be equal to? This is what we call a compound probability because we're combining one event with another. Well, we look at this and we say, gee, probability of A or B looks to me like it's 2 out of 8 plus uh, 3 out of 8. And so the total is 5 out of 8. Seems fairly reasonable. And so we think, well, maybe the rule for this or this, namely a compound probability, maybe it's just as simple as saying the probability of A or B is just equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B. Maybe that's all we need. But now we try a different pair of events and I'll show you why that's not enough. So let's change this. And now let's make event A how about if we make it the probability that I just pick something with an odd number? It doesn't have to be a rocket, doesn't have to be a hat, anything with an odd number. An odd, sorry, number. And we'll call event B that I just choose a hat any old hat. Well, what's the probability of event A? Uh, odd numbers? Well, these are the odd numbers. Okay. And there's five of them. So that must be five out of eight. Probability of B? Well, that's just choosing a hat. These are all the hats. And so that, there's five hats, so that's also five out of eight. So let's try our formula. The probability of either of those happening, A or B, 
according to our formula, it should be 5 eighths plus 5 eighths. Okay, well, we've got a problem because that equals 10 eighths, and 10 eighths is too big. It's not an allowed probability. It's bigger than 100%. So something is wrong. Somehow, when we were working over here, we could just add up the two situations. But now that we're working over here, if we add up the two situations, we get too much. Well, here's what's going on. We counted some of these probabilities twice. We counted these hats twice. See these hats here? See, they were both an odd number, but they were also a hat. And so the reason we came up with a number bigger than one is we overcounted because we counted these twice. So what we really need to do is subtract off the overlap. And there's three. Three of these are both odd as well as hats. And if we subtract off the overlap, then we get the right answer, which is 7 out of 8. So our formula here at the bottom, there's got to be something changed about it. And here's what we have to do. Maybe you've already figured this out. We have to subtract off the overlap, namely the probability that it's both A and B. Okay? We're going to call that the overlap. And that is our real formula for the compound probability A or B. Now you might ask, why didn't the problem show up before when we were doing the others? Well, when we were doing the ones on this side, if you look at those blue regions, we first looked at this one, and then we looked at this one, and they don't have any overlap. That's why we could just add them together. The overlap here was zero when we did the blue ones. Now when the overlap is zero, we say that it's no overlap, or we use another word, we say that it is mutually exclusive. 